Nah, this trench's new situation just got tricky. The Chicago Sun Times, a popular news uh, magazine or publication, really just put out a whole article, and it reads: "Star witness in FBG duck murder trial is a mass rap blogger and longtime government informant, Martel Wiley, who runs popular Trenches News YouTube channel, was paid nearly twenty-five thousand to cooperate with the government. An FBI agent testified Monday." A blogger focused on the lurid underbelly of Chicago's drill rap culture has been paid nearly $25,000 to cooperate with federal authorities investigating the killing of rapper FBG Duck, an FBI agent told jurors Monday. Wow. Martel Wiley, whose Trenches News YouTube channel has reached 114,000 subscribers, is expected to testify this week at the trial of six men charged in the brazen attack in the Gold Coast on August 4, 2020. The Chicago rapper who was gunned down here on one of Chicago's ritziest streets. They say two other people were also shot when four gunmen, witnesses say, jumped out of cars and fired from just a few feet away. Nah. A street known for Chicago's most expensive shopping today turned into a crime scene rattled by gunfire and littered with bullet casings. I was standing here and saw people running in every direction trying to look for cover. With good reason, police say three people were out shopping along Oak Street late this afternoon. Two men, they say, were standing on the sidewalk near the Dolce & Gabbana store, just a few steps from Michigan Avenue. Nah. Two vehicles pulled up, four uh, individuals exited those vehicles, two from each vehicle, and began firing at the individuals that were on the sidewalk outside of uh, one of the stores here. So as you just heard, that was the news clip of the day of the unfortunate demise of Chicago rapper uh, FBG Duck. During an interview days before the trial began last month, Wiley dispelled what he described as rumors while sidestepping a question about whether he had been paid to cooperate with law enforcement. Within days, he changed his tune in a bizarre video posted to his YouTube channel, wearing his signature face mask in an empty courtroom that said he was inside the Durskin Federal Courthouse. Wiley admitted he was testifying in what he described as the trial of the century. They subpoenaed me to court. I've got to come here, man, and tell them, man, it ain't no more discrepancies. I'm here. Long live Carlton, he said in the video, referring to Duck, whose real name was Carlton Weekly. He's even seen here choking about the situation. I missed this opportunity. I heard tomorrow they're getting out um, uh, $100 gifts to cars for steak and shake, so I'm going to make sure I'll be truthful here tomorrow, too. But yeah, this is the courtroom, man. Just had to show y'all, you know, Long live Duck. Yeah. Nah, that's wild. That's wild. That's a wild situation, man. I, I I see why he wears this trench mask all the time. FBI agent, FBI special agent Kevin Doyle testified Monday that Wiley called the Chicago Police Department a day after the shooting and offered to help with the investigation. Doyle said Wiley was paid twenty four thousand nine hundred and sixty three over roughly fifteen installments for his FBI cooperation, which began in April twenty twenty one. He would provide background information. He reviewed surveillance footage and reviewed social media postings. Doyle said, noting that Wiley was dropped as an informant for a time when he grew unresponsive. Prior to Doyle's testimony, one of the roughly dozen one of the roughly dozen defense attorneys in the case noted that Wiley had been used twice as an informant before more than a decade ago. So it wasn't even just this one situation. Calling for more information and details about payments. During that time, prosecutors said he lived at Parkway Gardens, also known as Oblock, a sprawling south side apartment complex that is known as the police say is known as the gang's faction's power base. Rap Lyrics stoked Old Block's years-long gang war with the Tukaville faction of the gangster disciple with whom Duck claimed affiliation, according to prosecutors. Man. And they was coming with some hard facts, some hard documents, you know? So, what's going on, Trenches News? Are you a character witness in this case coming up? Um, no, nah, I ain't gotta be, I ain't gotta be no, um, witness of none of that shit. Like, I ain't. I ain't got to go and get on the stand. If I want to go and get on the stand, I mean, you know, of course, if you want to do anything, you can do it. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, I had, I had got um, spent on, you know, what they say, spent on, grab, whatever. You know, um, if you've been watching me forever, then, you know, the King Mac was my celly. You know, I've been on interviews and, you know, when they asked me about the old back five, like, I was surprised that he wasn't. So, you know, we, we, uh, as cellies do. You know, you my celly, you rolled me with, for duck, you know, when they tried to roll me in jail 2014, I'm talking about, you know, so we was kicking it. 
I come home, we texting, you know, doing all the shit. I don't really want to say what the text was about the shit, cause you know, you get shit, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you the, the shit that you get in your email when they try to want your shit, subpoena your whole fucking files and shit. You hear me? Mm -hmm. Like all because you talk to them, who involves them. So it was probably one of those situations where um, I was watching something on Street Gangs where Alex said he had shot a um, a clip of. Well, someone had passed away at a certain location and he went there to get um, footage of it. And later that week, he was approached by police and asked for the, the footage. And he's a lawyer as well. So he reached out to his lawyer buddies and said, should I give them this footage? And they told him that if he doesn't give them that footage, then they're going to subpoena. Excuse me. And get a warrant for him to get all of the footage when you can just give this one piece of footage and not have to go through that hassle. So I think that's kind of what he was alluding to there. Like they sent me a piece of paper sub uh, subpoenaing me for all of my content, all the things that I have on this situation. And if he said no, then they're probably going to take all of that content. And that's what I was getting from the street TV. Shout out Alex Alonzo. What he was saying was if he didn't give him that footage of what he was recording that day, that they're going to come back with a warrant and get all of your content. And that's kind of how it works. But just in general, I seen uh, the FBG Buddhas and the, all of the other prominent Chicago characters or content creators speak about the um, Trenches News situation. And I always thought it was like maybe because he's a blogger, they're calling him a snitch or they're calling him things that they labels that they genuinely or that they typically put on um, on bloggers or people who make content. But I didn't know it was actual merit and substance behind it like this is an actual article like the headline reads as you can see here and this is chicago sun times star witness in fbg duck murder trial is a mass rap blogger and long time long time government informant and this is him right here oh my goodness whoa whoa and earlier in the clip, you can see him referring to having or um, on his DJU interview, he was talking about. Well, I, I'm just trying to, I was just trying to tell him, man, like, like, um, like if, 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 I, I just be chilling, bro. Like, I just be really chilling. Because the way you said I, that, I don't think I, you can. No, I just be cool, bro. Indecent exposure or something? What, what? No, I just be chilling, bro. And, you know, niggas are, are how you go there for no reason, bro. Like, they'll put you in a blender and they be thinking, like, so I just be like, you know, I, I, I mean, you know, like, you know, do we have a problem? You know, hey, what's this, that a fifty? It's just news, man. But you know, like, you gotta be safe out here. You, know? <laughs> you gotta be safe in these streets, bro. Like, ain't nothing, ain't nothing. You ain't gonna get nothing for sweet. Ain't like. So that's how he's carrying it, uh, inferring that he knows what he's up against. He's knowing that when people get a hold of that information or hear that, they're, they won't necessarily, you know, be too happy with it. So, um. I'm interested to hear reactions of people who come from where he comes from and with it being like really out there. There's always been speculations about it, but for an article to be out with actual evidence behind it, I'm very, very eager to see what the general consensus is about this situation, um, how it all plays out. But what do y'all think? Is Trenches News just doing his job with him being um, predominantly... For for four, I would say like before he was doing content, there's stories of him being around certain members or even being associated. So does that play a part? What do y'all think? Let me know in the comment section. Shout out to the family for um for his great work, man. And remember, remember, family. I don't give you no angles. I just tell you to what he said. I don't do no angles. I just give you the news. I forgot what he said, but nobody wins when the family feud. Shout out to them. Help me get to 100 million thousand subs. Let me know in the comment section what y'all think.